Does amlodipine cause erectile dysfunction? It's a question many have pondered. If you're new to the term, amlodipine is a medication commonly prescribed to those battling with high blood pressure or angina, a type of chest pain. It's a calcium channel blocker that works by relaxing the blood vessels, allowing the heart to pump blood more easily. Now let's switch gears a bit. Erectile dysfunction, often referred to as ED, is a condition where a man is unable to maintain an erection that is firm enough for sexual intercourse. It's a sensitive topic, but one that deserves our attention, as it affects millions worldwide. The question that brings us all here today is this. Does the medication designed to ease your heart's burden inadvertently lead to erectile dysfunction? Is there a connection between amlodipine and this intimate issue? It's a complex query with many layers to uncover. Join us as we delve into the relationship between amlodipine and erectile dysfunction. Amlodipine, a common drug for hypertension, but how does it work? Picture a bustling city with millions of cars whizzing by. That's your body and the cars are your blood cells. Now imagine the roads are your blood vessels. When these roads get narrow, the cars start to pile up, causing traffic jams. That's exactly what happens when you have high blood pressure. The roads or blood vessels in your body become narrow and the blood or cars start to pile up, creating pressure. Now, where does amlodipine fit into this picture? Amlodipine acts like a traffic controller. It belongs to a group of drugs called calcium channel blockers, and it works by relaxing and widening your blood vessels. When the blood vessels are relaxed and widened, the blood can flow more easily, the pressure decreases, and the heart doesn't have to work as hard. But how does amlodipine do this? Calcium plays a key role in muscle contraction, including the muscles in the walls of your blood vessels. When calcium enters these muscle cells, it triggers a chain of events that leads to contraction, causing the blood vessels to narrow. Amlodipine steps in, blocking the calcium channels on these muscle cells. When less calcium enters the cells, the muscles relax and the blood vessels widen. Amlodipine doesn't cure high blood pressure, but it can help manage it. It's like a daily maintenance crew for your body's highways, ensuring traffic flows smoothly, However, like any good thing, it's not without its side effects. Most are mild and manageable, like swelling in the ankles or feet, flushing and fatigue. But there are some side effects that are less common yet more concerning. But what happens when this medication interacts with our sexual health? Let's find out. Is there a real link between amlodipine and erectile dysfunction? We've all heard the whispers, the rumors, but let's dive deep into the scientific realm to discover the truth. Amlodipine, a commonly prescribed medication for high blood pressure, has been a topic of discussion in many health forums. Its potential side effect, erectile dysfunction, has sparked debates and concerns among patients. But what does the science say? Numerous studies have been conducted to investigate this potential side effect. Interestingly, the results present a mixed bag. Some research suggests a correlation between amlodipine use and erectile dysfunction. However, many of these studies have been critiqued for their small sample sizes and lack of control groups. On the other hand, several other studies have found no significant association between amlodipine and erectile dysfunction. A study published in the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology, for instance, found no significant difference in erectile function among men taking amlodipine compared to those on a placebo. Moreover, medical experts have weighed in on this debate, expressing a range of opinions. Some believe that amlodipine may indirectly contribute to erectile dysfunction by causing fatigue or lowering blood pressure too much. Yet others argue that the condition is more likely related to the underlying high blood pressure rather than the medication itself. It's worth noting that erectile dysfunction is a complex condition with many contributing factors Age, stress, lifestyle habits, and underlying health conditions can all play a significant role. In many cases, it's not just about the medication, but rather a combination of several factors. So what's the verdict? Is amlodipine the villain it's made out to be? Well, the answer isn't black and white. While it's true that some individuals may experience erectile dysfunction while on amlodipine, it's also crucial to consider the multitude of other factors at play. As we can see, the connection is not as straightforward as it might seem. Stay tuned as we delve further into this complex issue in the next scene. But is it all doom and gloom? Not exactly. 
While amlodipine has been linked to erectile dysfunction in some cases, it would be a mistake to draw a direct line between the two without considering other factors. You see, erectile dysfunction is a complex issue, and like a jigsaw puzzle, it's made up of many interlocking pieces. Firstly, let's consider age. As men grow older, their chances of experiencing erectile dysfunction naturally increase. This isn't necessarily a side effect of any medication they're taking, but rather a result of the aging process. So if you've been prescribed amlodipine and are also getting on in years, it's important to bear this in mind. Next, lifestyle. It's no secret that certain habits can impact our health negatively, leading to conditions like erectile dysfunction. Smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and a lack of exercise can all play a part. If these habits are part of your lifestyle, it's worth considering how they might be affecting your health. Thirdly, other medical conditions. Hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease are all known to cause erectile dysfunction. Amlodipine is often prescribed to treat these conditions, so it's possible that the erectile dysfunction is not a result of the medication, but of the underlying health issue itself. Lastly, psychological factors. Stress, anxiety, and depression can all lead to erectile dysfunction. If you're dealing with any of these mental health issues, they could be playing a significant role in your experience with erectile dysfunction. So while amlodipine might contribute to erectile dysfunction in some cases, it's crucial to look at the bigger picture. It's like a piece of a larger puzzle. Yes, it's a piece, but it's not the only one, and it's certainly not the most significant one. Erectile dysfunction is a complex issue with many contributing factors. So what should be done if you suspect amlodipine is causing erectile dysfunction? That's the question on most minds, isn't it? Let's delve into it. First and foremost, it's crucial to seek immediate medical advice. If you're experiencing symptoms of erectile dysfunction and you're on amlodipine, it's essential to discuss this with your healthcare provider. They can help determine whether your symptoms are indeed a side effect of amlodipine or if they're caused by something else. Remember, self-diagnosis can lead to more harm than good, so always consult a professional. Secondly, under no circumstances should you abruptly stop taking amlodipine without your doctor's consent. Amlodipine is prescribed for a reason, to manage high blood pressure and prevent heart attacks and strokes. Stopping the medication suddenly can lead to a rebound effect, causing your blood pressure to spike potentially leading to serious complications. So if you're considering stopping amlodipine due to potential side effects, discuss this with your doctor first. Now, let's talk about possible alternatives to amlodipine. If your healthcare provider confirms that amlodipine is indeed causing your erectile dysfunction, they may suggest switching to another type of blood pressure medication. There are numerous alternatives available, each with their own set of benefits and side effects. Your healthcare provider will recommend the most suitable medication based on your unique health situation and needs. Additionally, lifestyle modifications can also play a significant role in managing both high blood pressure and erectile dysfunction. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, avoiding excessive alcohol, and smoking. These are all steps that can contribute to overall health improvement. Finally, don't forget about the potential role of psychological support. Erectile dysfunction can cause stress and anxiety, which in turn can exacerbate the condition. Seeking help from a mental health professional can be beneficial in managing these feelings. Remember, it's vital to consult your health care provider before making any changes to your medication. Your health is your wealth and it should never be compromised. In conclusion, the link between amlodipine and erectile dysfunction is still a topic of ongoing research. We've delved into the science behind amlodipine, we've explored its potential connection to erectile dysfunction, and we've considered the other side of the coin, the fact that many people take this medication without experiencing such side effects. The complexity of this issue cannot be overstated. We're dealing with a subject that has many variables and factors at play. What we know for sure, though, is that every individual is unique. What works for one person may not work for another and vice versa. This underlines the importance of consulting with healthcare providers. They can guide you through the potential risks and benefits of amlodipine, taking into account your personal circumstances and overall health. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand about our bodies and the medications we take, the better we can make informed decisions about our health.
Thank you for joining us on this journey into the relationship between amlodipine and erectile dysfunction. Stay healthy, stay informed.